I ask you to remember those who stand shoulder to shoulder against terror. I'm well, here for the fifth anniversary of Chad Meckles, uh, the, the killing of remember Deputy Chad Meckles. Shortly after 9 a.m., Deputy Chad Meckles was killed in the line of duty. We're here to pay honor to him in and, and remembrance of a fallen law enforcement officer. These law enforcement officers share a special heritage, a common bond with today's law enforcement officers. It's tough to come back um, to the fifth, it just fifth year seems like it's so long ago, but it's still, again, like yesterday. These are extraordinary men and women who rose to meet seemingly impossible odds and did extraordinary things. Every day he's with me. It's awesome to see the, uh, the respect level that um, fellow law enforcement officers show to, to a, a family, to the family when somebody's lost a family member, let alone we've lost a brother in law enforcement. Violence will not sleep. Evil will not die. If we honor and remember those who have served, compassion will prevail. We just want to remember and have other people remember that uh, these officers are not just cops, they're not just deputies, they're not just sheriffs, they're actual people behind the badge. Um, there's families that wait at home for them. Um, and as you are out there praying that the officers catch the bad guys. There's families at home praying that the bad guys don't, don't get the officers. He was an honorable man. He was a, a very good deputy, um, excellent friend and colleague. I couldn't have asked for anybody else to work with. Such a brotherhood, such a fraternity. Um, and when, you, um, when one officer gets hurt, um, it hurts them all. Um, it's not just one officer, it's not just one family, it, it, it's a ripple effect. 61A7, 10-7, 10-42. This is Chad. I'm home.